HDI, as you see, is the highest growth part of the mid-market storage, growing from $300 million in 2014 to $2.5 billion in 2018. And that's an annual growth rate of 68%. But we believe we provide the best architecture to deliver it. And our architecture starts from vSphere and vSAN. This is our core hypervisor software and our hyperconverged software-defined storage stack. And they come together actually in a single binary as we deliver uh, to our customers. It gives you the ultimate simplicity and it reduces cost. And on average, our customer saves 50%, half of their capex cost. Uh, what's your perspective on hyperconverged? I think it's uh, hyperconvergence is uh, is not really even an option. It's a must. Um, I don't know how many of you guys are in the healthcare world, but uh, in the healthcare world, budgets are flat, and due to the ever increasing complexity of healthcare, the government demands of records, securities, all these things, um, uh, the need to do more with less is just unavoidable, and uh, we are not going to be given more money. So in order to increase our storage, increase our performance, we have to do it within existing budgets, which really means we have to do it with something other than these silos and expensive technologies. Hyperconvergence is really, from a financial point of view, an absolute must. Um, we began about two years ago to review uh, hyperconvergence as it developed both with VMware and, and other, other firms. Um, when uh, vSAN was first introduced, we uh, saw some amazing advantages. Um, if I can say, one of the things that uh, caught our attention was that this was a product where the storage was built into the abstraction itself, rather than a layered on approach which uh, competitors often use. That got our attention. Uh, so we started a point of, uh, a, really a, a, a testing phase at both of these institutions. Primarily Lancaster General, um, we're using uh, uh, vSAN to really replace all of our SANs. So this is a multi-year project, about two years in the works. Right. So my gut is that both of these institutions will be essentially on vSAN fully, with very little exceptions within the next 24 months.